All right, 362 traction motor assembly. This has to cover the removal, disassembly, cleaning, inspection, repair, test, and assembly, insulation. Tool cut, magna flux, tool kit, magna flux, undercutter, dial indicator, portable, protein torch, induction heater, large hydraulic press, puller set, test equipment, multimeter, mega on meter, and material parts, emmy cloth, dry cleaning, solvent, the grease, GA, um, clear acrylic clay, um, lacquer. Red insulation, varnish, gray, gray gloss, enamel, electrical tape, painting, insulation, lubricating oil, pigment, iron, bluing, um, bl bl general lubricating oil, insulating paper, er, um, pa personal required, condition des description, um, personal required, three, condition description, truck assembly um, removed. All right, warning. When the traction motor under the load, one of the equipment must be inspected by the engine running with the remove of the insulation with the main generator and set air brakes. Um, remove the reverser to the center. Remove the, move the reverser to the center position. Remove the control from the controller. This prevents the accidental movement of the load and possible injury to personnel. No, if the repair traction motor is limited, resurface the communicator, um, refer to PZEPS 32G below. If necessary, to remove the axle bearing while the traction motor is under low. One of the procedures below will apply the excision in step 5 of the upper axle bearing half. can be removed with the jacking of the traction motor frame and so just, uh, uh, just enough to relieve the wave of the bearing, resolving the, um, the bearing around the axle, slipping it out, uh, off below. Remove the drain plug, one drain axle bearing oil reservoir. Remove 5 bolts, 2 with the lock washer, 3 remove the upper and lower bearing gear case, 4. No, the traction motor must be blocked with wheels up and supported while the wheels are removed with the traction motor. If the bearing cap 7 is taken for the flat coal chisel, may ju be used to loosen the cap. Place the chisel in the crack between the cap and the motor frame. Tap the cold chisel one side, then out of there until the cap is loose. Move 8 bolts, 5 lock washer, 6 axle bearing cap 7. Remove the traction mo motor lower support axle bearing halves 8. 8. Remove the 8 uh, bolts, 9 lock washers, 10, 2 covers, 11, and the caskets 12. Removal continue. Remove the four bolts to 13 with the lock washer 14, two felt wick lubricators 15. Warning components of the locomotive are heavy, may be awkward to handle you with the correct lifting procedures, indicating lift device assistance, other personnel to avoid injury. Use suitable lifting device and slowly lift the traction motor 16 from the wheel and the axle 17. Remove the two traction motors so upper support axle bearing halves 18. Um. This assembly warning component for the traction motor have to maybe awkward to handle you with the correct lifting procedure indicate lifting device assistance for the other personnel to avoid injury. Move spanner 19 lock ring 20 warning head par heated parts may cover the injury to personnel with a hand protection is not warning when handling wear protect the glove for the maximum protection caution. Do not remove um, remove a pinion from the driver um, or driving a wedge between the pinion or traction motor frame. Arc blows will the hammer and pinion or pinion blow puller damage bearing result never apply heat to the pinion with that is due back um, to be put back in service of Destruction of the original heat treatment will result. If it becomes necessary to remove the pinion with it to be scrapped, then very hard to pull. But it may be necessary to apply heat to the pinion over the very short time. Pinion shaft or action motor frame must not be heavy damage to the part will result. Using a pinion puller, remove the pinion gear 21 and its files. Warning, dry cleaning solve of the PD-680 is toxic flammable. Wear um, protective gloves and goggles. Use with only well-ventilated air. Avoid contact with the skin and eyes. Glove the giant breathe vapor detergent. Use near open flame with excessive heat. Flash wounds of 100 138 degrees Fahrenheit. If you become dizzy, get fresh air immediately. Go to medical aid. If the contacts eye with the maid, wash your eyes. Get medical aid immediately. Compress air. Use the cleaning purpose. The blanks see the 30 PSI. Do not direct compress air against the skin. Use the goggles with full face shield. Use dry cleaning solve to remove the grease from the pinion gear. Dry with compressed air. Laying up the press 26 for the pinion gear shaft. Laying in solve the pinion puller 22 around the pinion gear 21. Press 26. This is assembly continued. Um. Tighten the four bolts 23 and the out 24 with the screw of the pinion 22 with the remove the um, route the safety chain 25 with the two lifting eye with the bolts over the traction motor 16 to do the hydraulic press of the safety loop 26 with your warning pinion gear will snap suddenly under the approximately 50 to 90 pun, tons of pressure personnel must sustain either side of the motor when pulling the pinion gear or any or every behind pre press bitch must be clear of the injury or death could result in safety precautions not followed. Apply 50 to 90 tons of pressure with the hydraulic press remove the pinion gear to 21 when the pinion gear 21 is removed with the mark the A with the tri and to the traction motor where it was removed, which it was removed. Um, this is something continued. Procedures, um, procedure safety head eating over the parts of the aid of the disassembly heated parts may cover the injury to personnel. Hand and protection is not more handle, uh, handling. Wear protective goggles with the maximum protection. Gloves for maximum protection. No, some parts of the used to be heated relief them from the heat shrink fit, but they become the necessary for the use of the portable protein torch, portable hydraulic press pool, or tools required to remove the disassembly. Remove the two traction motor covers 27. 
Remove the four bolts, 28 lock washer, 29 inspection, cover 30. Lift the brush far enough of the brush holder to box to prevent the slipping back against the communicator. Caution, take care, avoid the damage of the communicator. Surface to protect the communicator by wrapping the heavy insulating paper. Remove the eight bolts, 31 lock washer, 32 of the communicator and bearing cap. Components of the locomotive that are heavy but may be awkward to handle with you with the correct lifting procedure, indicating the lift device and or assistance to other personnel to avoid injury. Use the lifting eye on the pinion end. Use suitable lifting device as the traction motor in vertical position. Remove the 6-bolt 33 washer 34, bearing cap 35, gasket 36. Insole 6 bolts, uh, remove, sorry, remove 6 bolts 37, the lock washer 38, even the punch, punch mark, cover 39, the traction motor frame 47, then install the 3 bolts within to the jacking hole 39, and tighten them until the cover is free. Remove the cover 39, the order the race for the bearing 47. Install polar to enter Inner bearing housing 45, remove oil slinger 41, inner ring race 42, oil slinger 43, inner oil slinger 43, gasket 44, inner bearing housing. Warning components of the locomotive are heavy, may be awkward to handle you with the correct lifting procedure, indicate lifting device and or system with other personnel to avoid injury. Use suitable lifting device, slowly pull the armature 46 out of the traction motor for M47 and set the armature in a horizontal position on suitable supporting device. All right, disassembly, continue, remove the 6-bolt, 48, lock washer, 49, move the bearing cap, 50, with the gasket, 51, communicator in, remove the 2-set screws, 52, and retainer ring, 53, remove the bearing race, assembly, 54, oil slinger, 55, with the bearing housing, 56, remove the inner race, 57, remove the bolt, 58, lock washer, 59, flat washer, 60, disconnect, disconnect electrical lead, 61, four, remove the 4-bolt, 62, lock washer, 63, remove the 4-brush holder, 64, and block, 65, loose 8, and, um, eight screws, 66, remove the brush, 67. Cleaning inspection and repair. Cleaning inspection and repair. Uh, opinion assembly for the following. Warning. Do I clean PD 680? Saw the toxic blame and wear. Protect the goggle with the gloves. Use only in well ventilated area. Avoid contact with the skin and eyes. Close with the breathe. Don't breathe vapors. Do not near, oh, use near open flame. Excessive heat. The flash point of 100 and 138 degrees. If you come dizzy, get fresh air immediately. Get medical aid. If the contact with the eyes made, wash and get aid. medical aid immediately. Compress air. Use the cleaning purpose of the blind. See for 30 psi. Do not invite your breast air against skin. Use the goggles with full face shield. Use dry cleaning soap with the cleaning pinion gear. Do dry um, with compressed air. Put in a flush pinion gear. Insult with the, for the cracks. No cracks. A lot of visual inspection gear with the broken chip. The small with the pitted teeth. Maximum allowable pitting and spoliation of 20% of the whole working surface of the teeth. Cleaning inspection. Inspect the inside of the bore pinion surface. The bore must be smooth. The use of the fine grades um, sandpaper to polish surface. The use of the pinion gear. Damage beyond the 31. Uh, repair 31. Clean inspection repair bearing assembly by the following note. We write clean solve the PD680. Toxable flammable wear. Protect with goggles with glove. The use only with a well ventilated area. Avoid contact with the skin and eyes. Clove with the donut. Breathe vapors. Do not use near open flame except for the flash points of 100 and 138 degrees Fahrenheit. If you come dizzy, get fresh air. Immediately get medical aid. If you contact AIs, made, eyes, contact with the eyes is made, wash your eyes. Get medical aid immediately. Compress air. You can, um, use for cleaning purpose. Do not exceed 30 psi. Do not use the door. Right, compress air skin. Use the goggles. Full face shield. Use dry cleaning. Solve the move with the grease and bearings. Outer bearing caps. Outer bearing stops. Oil slingers. Bearing cartridge to dry with compressed air. Inspect parts where cracks breaks and solve roller cracks or pits. Inspect Parts for discolorization indication overheating replace parts that are damaged. Note: Do not paint match um, paint machine surfaces to paint bearing housing with red insulation varnish. Clean inspection repair armature assembly by the following: Dry cleaning solve with the PD 68 the taxable flame will wear. Protect the goggles and goggles. Use only well ventilated. Avoid contact with skin on the clothes. Do not move, um, breathe vapor to die near open flame. Set the heat flash point 100, 138 degrees Fahrenheit. If you come to get fresh air, immediately get medical aid. If the contact aid, uh, is with the eyes is made, wash your eyes, get medical aid immediately. Compress air with cleaning purposes will not exceed 30 psi. Do not use the correct compressed air against skin. Use the guy with a full face shield. Caution. Um, check with the dry cleaning solve that does not get on the communicator. Copper parts go windings damage for the equipment that will result. Blow carbon dust the armature or something with the compressed air. Direct air into the pocket throughout the opening of the armature to remove the internal accumulation of dirt. Use the cloth damp with the dry clean self with the wiper armature surface to remove the external grease and dirt with the dry with compressed air. Inspect with the shaft, the damage and shaft, the show of the time bearing slip to replace the armature. If it's, if it's back, the pinion end of the shaft, check with the threads of the non tame check with the surface of the pinion gear mates with the smooth and fine grain sandpaper polish and surface. Note, check the insulation bands of blisters, cracks, or breaks. Armature must be repaired at deep level of the maintenance facility. Install the pack varnish surface with the cool oil insulation. Check with the bands and tighten and screw with the soldering intact. Use dial indicator check communicator roughness out and if not out of round if the communicator is out of round there's two thousand of an inch variance for the six bars band inspect the surface of the wear with the burn with the pitting and these conditions fine grading some of the research of the communicator. 
Warning, when the traction motor under the of the equipment that must be inspected while the engine is running, move the excitation from the main generator to inset the air brakes, move the reverser to the central position, move the control, main, move the controller. This will prevent the accidental movement of the locomotive possible injury to the personnel. Check the mic is undercut with a depth of 1 to 332 for the inch. The mic of depth is not within these limits. They undercut the regroup of the mic of the clean slot between the copper bars to remove the burrs. Warning, caress air against you um, used with a light cleaning purpose when I see 3 PSI. Do not use to air compared to guess air against skin and use the goggle full face shield to prevent injury to personnel. Use dry compressed air. We remove the last mic of the copper from the communicator pane. Serve the coil insulation red enamel and solve varnish. Um, 383 inspect and repair stator frame assembly with the following. Warning PD solve within 6A with a toxic flammable wear protective goggle with the gloves. Use only well ventilated air. Avoid contact with the skin and globe. Do not breathe vapor. Do not eat with an air open flame. It's best for the heat flash point of 100 138 degrees Fahrenheit. If you become dizzy, get with the fresh air immediately. Get medical aid. If contact with the ice, made wash your eyes. Get medical aid immediately. Use the clothes damp with the dry clean. Solve with the the dirt and form material from the traction motor frame. And the field with assembly dry with compressed air. Check field coil leads and cable communicators are secure. Cleaning inspection continue. Check with the shunt inner pole fields are tight. Paint insulation strip with the red insulation varnish. Check and inspect the repair brush holder assembly by the following warning. PDR cleaning solve the PD six day the tox flame will wear protective goggles with the gloves. She's only well in the air. Avoid skin and eye clock. Eyes and clothes with um contact with the skin, eyes and clothes, don't breathe vapor to not near open the flame and set the heat flash one of one hundred hundred thirty eight degrees Fahrenheit, become dizzy, fresh air immediately, get a medical aid. If your contact with the ice made is made, wash your eyes and get medical aid immediately. Compress air, you for the cleaning purpose, not exceed the therapy side, you not do um you correct compress air against skin, you've got a full face shield, you've the dry cleaning over the clean brush hold their assembly, dry with compress air, inspect brush holder, the wear cracks and breaks and replace the device brush holders. Inspect the insulator brake crack breaks cracks burns and dual surfaces replace the defects with insulator pressing unbreasting off the of the pressing on a new one installs insta inspect studs and crack breaks replace the defective stud with the pressing out of the brush holder pressing new one and new one and pressing in the new one. Inspect spring assembly with tension check on the braiding and is not afraid to play with the defective spring and assembly. Caution you not to spray inside of the brush holder, paint the brush holder with clear uh, acrylic spray. Inspect the gear cave for the following. Dry cleaning pot and dissolve in the PD6A with a toxic flame and wear protective goggles with gloves that you have the only well ventilated air. Avoid contact with the skin and eyes with the do not breathe vapor to do not with you with near open flame and accept the heat. The flash one of 100 138 degrees. If it becomes easy, get fresh air immediately. Get medical aid with the contact knife with the maid. Wash your eyes. Get medical aid immediately. Compress air. You have the cleaning purpose at 90 with 30 psi. Do not visual compress air against skin. You have the goggles full face shield. Use dry cleaning stuff and then clean the gear case dry with the compressed air. Check with the gears have not been rubbing against the gear case. Inspect with the inside of the metal band. Metal band should be intact on damage or play with the gear case that is damaged. Um, caution, do not paint the machine surface paint outside of the gear case with black or air drying insulating paint. During insulation field or gauge, check the traction motor axle bearing lateral. Maximum total clearance lateral is 5 16th of an inch. Use field or gauge, check axle bearing clearance where the radial um, clearance between the axle bearing is a 12,000 of an inch. Check 14,000. 14 hours of inch shims are placed between the axle cap and traction motor frame. You can dry clean stuff with the clean fluid. wick, um, lubricator drive with the compressor air check. The, the felt wick lubricator is not glazed with the charge. The plate with the damaged felt wick lubricator saturate the felt wick lubricators with oil before insulation. All right, check with the traction motor leads or stator housing or tight screw with the plate. Play with the insulation cracked or brittle with the three layer of friction tape with the one half inch lap of the paint with the black air with the drying insulation paint with the clean inspect repair from the remaining parts following warning. Dry cleaning over the PC 680. The toxic flame will wear protect with the gloves. Gloves use only well in the later area. Avoid contact with the skin and glove with the donut. Be able to do you with your open flame with excessive heat flash point of 100 to 138 degrees Fahrenheit. If you come to this, get fresh air immediately and get medical aid. If contact with the ice is made, wash your eyes and get medical aid immediately. Compress air, you have the cleaning purpose of the next 30 psi. Do not need to rest air. Compress air against skin, you with goggles and full face shield, you with the dry clean over the clean parts, dry with compressed air, inspect part with the cracks or breaks, replace the defective parts. Caution, you not paint machine surfaces, paint the inside surface of the traction motor, cover the red enamel insulating varnish, paint the outside surface of the traction motor with a black air drying insulation paint. Our cleaning inspection repair continue. Refer to table 37 of the traction motor da data. Um, maximum operating low um, limits volts of 640 DC amps, 600 amps, safe speed 2200 RPM. The brush number of the brush arms, four brush per arms, two size of the brush, three quarter inch by one half inch by two quarter inch. Pressure, pressure on the full length of the brush, 79 pounds. Weight, motor, lubricating pins and axle bearings, 3,400 pounds. Armature complete, 804 pounds, 800, sorry, 805 pounds. Resistant winding, armature, 370,000 of an arm. Um, communicative vehicles, 145,000 of an arm. 
to reveal the 210 thousands for them. Armature bearings, pinning, ending, free roller, communicator, and thrust roller. Traction with support, axle bearing sleeve, oil level two and a half, um, two and a quarter inch maximum. Pinion application teeth beneath, um, teeth and pinion 14, application temperature um, 273.2 degrees above shaft temperature, advanced placement, advanced limits um, 46,000 to 56,000 an inch. Or your test, perform armature stator mega arm test and by following armature test, minimum of 500 volts at 1 mega arm is required for the test. Place a lead at 1 on mega arm 2 on the shaft of the core of the armature. Place lead 3 on the mega arm tube with on 1 over the communicator bar is not the reading of the mega armature contact the acceptance success of the bar around the communicator. Warning, procedures um, specificating in the cooling part for the disassembly assembly head with the cool parts, making sure for the personal with hand protection not warm when handling um, when handling where protect the goggles goggle of the maximum protection. If a reading less than 3 mega arms is obtained, break armature of 4 hours uh, at 230 degrees is convention, convection, convection, and recheck the mega arm reading after the cooling armature room temperature reading is still low and replace the armature. Alright, warning. Procedures specify the heating of the cooling parts of the day, but it is somewhat similar with the heat of the cool part of the glove of the injury. The person with a hand protection, not one with a handling wear, protect with the glove at the maximum protection, reading the length of the three mega arms of it. Same breaking armature, four hours, 230 degrees connection, other than recheck the mega arm reading at, of the after cooling armature room temperature reading is still low, replay for the armature. Test. Attach lead warm of the mega arm three with the um, lead AA1, uh, AA negative on star, stator housing. Attach lead 2 on the Mega Arm 3 with the lead A on the Stator Housing Note reading on the Mega Arm. Attach lead 1 on the Mega Arm 3 lead um, FF on the Stator Housing. Attach lead 2 on the Mega Arm 3 with the lead F on the Stator Housing Note reading of the Mega Arm meter. Alright, um, warning procedures specify the heating of the cooling part of the, of the A and disassembly and assembly, disassembly and assembly. Heat of the cool parts can make cover the injury to the person with the hand protection is not warm, but when handling, wear protect with the glide with the, and the maximum protection. After the reading of the left and three mega arms obtained with the two set lead, break state of four or four hours, 230 degrees Fahrenheit in the convection oven. Recheck mega arm readings after cooling state of room temperature. If the readings are still well, replace the stator. Um, perform the bar to bar resistance test by following place of the lead and multimeter with the two on the shaft of the core armature play for the read on the multimeter with the one over the communicator bars record reading of the multimeter contact each successive bar around the communicator recording each reading. Um, test indicator resistant reading of the ten percent more above the average recording readings of the twenty or more connections to take will uh, well all all, all coil these the community every neck neck convention convections. Test indicates resistant reading of the one half percent below the average full scale meter detection multimeter there is a shorter coil to the armature. Warning procedure specify specific heating of the cooling parts of the disassembly assembly heated cool parts may cover the injury personnel hand protection not warm by the handling wear protective the glove the maximum protection. Below average readings can, um, could indicate the presence of water into the coils. The below average readings are obtained with a break armature convection over the oven in four hours at 230 degrees um, Fahrenheit. Cool at room temperature. Repeat step B. If the readings are still low, replace armature. All right, assembly warning. Component of the traction motor device or have the may be awkward to handle you with the correct lifting procedure and lifting device assistance for the other personnel to avoid injury. Install four blocks, 65 brush holder, 64 for the traction motor frame, secure for the four bolt, 62 lock washer, 63 attach the brush holder, the electrical lead, 61 secure floor flat washer, 60 lock washer, 59 bolts, 58. Warning, uh, heated parts may cause injury to personnel. Hand protection is not worn by the handling. Wear protect the glove with the maximum protection. Remove the place the inner race 57 the induction heater. Heat part at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Move the inner race 57 of the heater and shove the armature shaft with the hold in place until the cooled. Place the oil slinger 55 in the induction heater. Heat the 225 degrees Fahrenheit. Move the oil slinger from the heater and shove the armature shaft against the shoulder. Hold in place until cool, cooled. And move, fill the groove with the oil slinger 55 with grease. Fill the place. Space between the roller and bearing outer race, race bearings with with grease. Fill the lower half with the grease chamber with the bearing housing with 56 with grease. Install bearing and outer race assembly 54 with the bearing housing 56. Install assembly with the onto the armature shaft. Use the filler gauge. Check the internal radiance clearing for the bearing. Pass filler gauge between the between and rollers and inner maximum or inner race maximum clearance of 15, 12, 15 10 thousandths of an inch. Install retaining ring 53, secure the juice cut screw 52, fill the half of the grace pack, pocket with the bearing cap 15, install the gasket 51, bearing cap, secure the 6 lock washer 49 bolts 48. 
He departs may cause injury to personnel. Hand protection is not worn when handling. Wear protective gloves. The packs and protection parts must be heated and sold individually. Place inner oil rings for Slinger 43, oil outer oil, oil Slinger 41, inner race 42 with the induction heater. He parts 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Fill the half of the grease chamber. The inner bearing housing 45 degrees. Install the armature shaft. Install gasket 44. Procedure warnings. Procedure specify heating and cooling parts to, um, to aid the disassembly. Some of the heated cooling parts may cover the injury to personnel. Hand protection is not worn. Handling wear protective goggles and gloves for maximum protection. Move inner oil slinger 43 with a heater with the install armature shaft hold place in on until cooled. Failing and seal groove with the grease. Remove the inner race from the heater and install the armature shaft hold in place until cooled. Move the outer slinger with the 41 with the heater and install the armature shaft hold in place until cooled. Fill ceiling groove with the grease. Fill space with the bearings of the 40 with the rollers with the grease. And uh, install outer race bearing assembly 40 and then cover 39. Install cover around the shaft. The chain with the drain holes over the cover and inner bearing housing are aligned. Install two guide bolts for the two inner bearing housing. Um, two aid lining up the bearing housing communicator and cover. When the feeler gauge, check the internal radial clearance of the bearing. Ba um, press the feeler gauge between the roller and inner frame for the maximum radial clearance of 3,000, 3 ten thousandths, 3 thousandths of an inch. Fill half lower grease chamber in the bearing cap 35 with the grease. And install the gasket 36 with the bearing cap 35 with the screw with the six lock washer 34 bolts 33. Install lifting eye on the pinion end of the shaft. Warning. Components are locomotive or heavy. Maybe may be awkward to handle you with the correct lifting procedure. Indicate lifting device assistance with the other personnel to avoid injury. You've suitable lift device, lower the lower armature assembly, 46 with the traction monitor frame, 47. Check with the guide bolt in the hole with the gasket, 44. Communicator end cover, 39. Check with the punch marks with the communicator end cover, 39. Line up with the punch marks on the traction monitor frame, 47. Then install the 6 lock washer, 38. Bolt 37. Move the guide bars and secure armature, 46 with the traction monitor frame, 47. Then 8 lock washer, 32. The bolt, 31. Try turn the armature, 46 with the hand to check to see it. That is free. Two, install the 2 screw, 66. And bush rest to 67. Refer to TM5522102232312 with the brush adjustment. Install the traction motor cover 30 with the four lock washer 29, bolts 28. Install two traction motor cover 27. Install pinion gear as follows. Cover the shaft with a light coat with the Prussian blue. Install pinion gear with the armature shaft. Give it a quick um, push to set it again for the traction motor cover. Let each other the wedge between the pinion gear and traction motor cover to remove the pinion gear. Observe the contact with the um, area with the pin gear bar board with the inspection of um, the blowing of the co um, blowing to cover less than 75% of the total contacts over the fine grade sandpaper sand armature shaft of the pin gear board. Repeat step of the through D, A through D. Warning: Dry cleaning some of the PCE 6A. The toxic flammable. Wear protective guide with gloves. Use only well then and later. Avoid skimming eye closed and do not breathe vapors. Do not use near open flame or excessive heat with a UV flash point of 100 138 degrees. If become a dizzy, fresh air aid immediately. Get a medical aid. Contact after the made wash and get medical aid immediately. Press air UV the cleaning for the um, purposes of the next UV 30 PSI. Do not be direct compress air against skin. UV the goggles or full face shield. Use dry cleaning well to remove the blowing with the armature shaft of the pinion gear bore. Um, dry the, with compressor and install the pinion gear on the arm shaft with the give it the push against the traction motor cover. Use the depth gauge to measure the gear um, piston in the respect of the shaft to record the reading. Use the torque marks and, and contact between the depth gauge and pinion gear arm sha armature shaft so the pinion gear can be remounted exactly the same position. Let you drive the wedge between the pinion gear traction motor cover to remove the pinion gear same, and set the pinion gear on the induction heater to heat to 273.2 degrees Fahrenheit above the shaft. Warning heated parts may cover the injury to personal hand protection not worn when handling wear protective glove with the maximum protection. Alright, move pinion gear with the heater and solve the armature shaft. Line up chuck marks on the pinion gear armature shaft. Put the pinion gear toward the traction motor cover. Use the depth gauge, check with the advantage of the pinion gear advantage of the 46,000 to 56,000 inch greater than the recorded reading of the sub G. If the advance is obtained, the um, pinion gear must be pulled in and reinstall it. Install the locking ring 20, spanner nut 19. Install insulation. Warning, components of the locomotive are heavy, may be awkward to handle the use the correct lifting procedure for the lifting device and assistance other personnel to avoid injury. Use liftable and the suitable lifting device to position the traction motor with the bearing house facing wheel and the back axle assembly. Install option traction motor assort, axle support bearing halves eight to the traction motor frame. Apply the light film of the oil to the bearing surface. Use suitable lifting device lower lower wheel with the axle assembly into the traction motor frame. Apply with the light film of the oil to the bearing surface and install the two lower traction motor assembly. Axle supporting bearing halves eight. Install the two felt wick lubricators fifteen to that two axle cap seven and two so the two axle cap seven and screw the eight lock washer six and bolts five and so the two gaskets twelve cover eleven screw the eight lock washer nine ten and nine and bolts nine install the gear case four and screw the five bolts two lock washer three install the drain plug one fix the axle bearing oil reservoir lubricating oil fill reserve uh, to oil depth of three quarter inch to two three and two and a half quarter inches 
Um, fill the gear case eight pounds with greater lube grace. Hold the traction motor, leave the test stand, and test the running traction motor at 1500 RPMs for two hours before installing. 